Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64 out here in the night. Driving around. Just got finished moderating uh, Ken Potter and Tyler over at Generation 2434. If you haven't watched that video or you weren't there, uh, go watch it. It was really good. They talked a lot about what heaven's going to be like and who they're going to see. And Tyler had a really amazing dream. Ken Potter is in the Discord and he explains how you know a dream comes from God. He explains it better than I do. Uh, it's in his room that he explains this. But it boils down to this. I had a dream when I was younger and I haven't forgotten it yet. It's burned into my brain. It wasn't a strange dream where things got weird or changed around or, you know, I had duck feet or anything like that. It was just, it was a straight dream and it made sense and it didn't jumble around. And he said, that's how you know, or you can discern it's from God and not just, uh, you know, some random dream. So it's really cool. And uh, Tyler's actually uh, looking forward to seeing his grandmother, just like I am. And uh, it's very exciting. You can see what's going around, uh, 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 around right now. Uh, we're at DEF CON 2. That's a big deal. Um, Damascus. Somebody asked me in the comment section, what is Damascus? Damascus, remember, Paul, or his name was Saul. Saul was just killing Christians because he thought he was doing the Lord's work because these crazy Christians were wrong. God stops him on the Damascus road and makes him blind and says, why are you persecuting me? And he said, no, I, I didn't know that. I thought I was doing good. And he's like, no, that's, that's, those are my people you're killing. Obviously, God forgave him and he became the 13th or the replacement 12th apostle. God blinded him and they helped him walk into Damascus. He was blind for three days. So we're relating this, and, and it might be wrong. I don't know for certain. I don't want to say dogmatically that this is what it's for. Because I've heard others say that, no, this is for the, the tribulation saint to know that their time is almost there. But as I read it, it almost appears that there's going to be three days of darkness. Because he was blind for three days. And his name was changed. And we're told that we get a new name when we get to heaven. So for me, kind of Damascus is what I'm looking at as pointing towards um, you got about three days before the rapture happens, which we all can feel it. We all know it. We're watching. Everybody is just, and I say everybody, I mean, the bride, the bride is coming in here. They're, the bride is going around trying to figure this out. And that's what it's all about. It's the bride trying to understand and figure out what's going on. Um, Will, over at Ra uh, uh, Worship and Watch, went on vacation. He drove across the country, I believe, right here to Florida, where I'm at. And he was absolutely shocked that nobody, and I mean nobody, is talking about the rapture, waiting and watching, looking for the return. Um, nobody. And uh, he's right. I'm, I'm out here every day. Nobody's thinking about this. So the community that's on YouTube and in Discord is a very tight-knit community. And we're all watching and we're all waiting for this moment, this glorious moment that we're all just praying for every day. Let me do like uh, Jay Justify does, drive with my knee. I'm too old for that. I'll make a mistake. Um, and it's just incredible to me what I see going on now in relation to what I have seen. Talk about nobody watching. You should start watching 30 years ago, 35 years ago. Nobody was watching, nobody cared. And it's almost the same today, although, and maybe it's because, for me it might be because we have the YouTube now and we have Discord now and we're all actually coming together in these forums to get to know each other and recognize each other whereas maybe before maybe it was the same amount of people i just couldn't find them before but now we're finding each other so that might be it um 
Tyler thinks like I do and uh, Ken Potter thinks like I do. No seal has been opened yet. We leave first. We're gone. We're escaped. We're out of here before the woman goes into, tra into travail. There's not a single seal that's been opened. I'm not red faced. That's the car in front of me with her brake lights. <laughs> oh good. They stopped. Put oh, there it pushed brake lights again. Um, we're just waiting uh, for the rapture and then everything is going to commence. I just heard uh, Tyler saying that and I was like, yay, I'm not the only one that thinks that way. Um, why do I think that way? Because there are passages in the Bible that talk about the woman giving birth before she she travailed. What we're seeing right now is birth pangs. These are not seals. If you think we're under the wrath of God right now, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to get crazy. So um, I was really happy that Tyler said that. I was, I'm in very much agreement with what Tyler said, um, that we are not, uh, we haven't opened any seals yet and we're just waiting for the rapture and then everything is gonna commence. Now, in my last video, I made a mistake and I said something wrong and I wanna clarify what I said. I said the Bible was for salvation purposes and not for the times of the rapture. And I, it's not what I, I said it, but it's not what I meant. The Bible is 100% for uh, times and seasons and rapture events. It is 100% for the law and for salvation. And it explains all these different categories of, of the dispensations that God is looking at. So what I meant to say was in the Bible, our Bible that we read, it speaks of Enoch. I think it's in Jude, where Jude speaks uh, of a passage that you do find in Enoch. The Bible does talk about the book of Jasher. And if you read the book of Jasher, you notice it talks about Enoch. So Enoch is somebody very important. Enoch was the first person to be raptured. I believe there are seven raptures. Oh, let me finish the part that I messed up on. I did not mean to say that. What I meant to say was the Bible's all we need. It's everything. However, the Bible does point to other sources that we can use to confirm what our Bible says. That's what I meant. I read Enoch because the Bible talks about Enoch. The book of Jasher talks about Enoch. And for me, Enoch knew all time. He was carried, and you'll, you'll read this in the book of Jasher and in Enoch, that he was carried to the seventh heaven by the angel Odiel, and he is aware of all time, of all the way the inner workings of this enormous clock that God created. And so that's what I meant by that. I want to clear that up. Did not mean to say the Bible wasn't sufficient. I know better. It is 100% sufficient. I just didn't clarify what I was saying. So, that being said, we are in the season. We know we're here. <coughs> we can see all the things that are going to DEFCON 2 right now. That's what they're saying. We're at, in that. Um, all the stuff that's going on that they want us to do. Um, this huge test that they did today. I shut my phone off. I have no idea whether or not it took place. Um, not that I've ever <coughs> taken that, that it would have affected me in any kind of way. But I also heard that they were, during that process, able to download something. I don't know. There's so many things that are said. And I'm not really big on conspiracy theories. So I'm more on just what the Bible says and, and try to track that. And so... We're in it. We're in it. We're so close now. We're so close. This is this is about to happen. Um, does Damascus have to happen? I don't know. I, I mean, like I said, it could be for the tribulation saint. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, we watch. We keep watching, you know. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what we do. That's why we do what we do. We're all alone in this. There's nobody watching. Nobody cares. And uh, it's the most uh, disturbing thing when you talk to somebody and they're like, I, I, I told a friend of mine, I'm like, are you ready for the rapture? He's like, what's a rapture? I'm like, oh boy. And I tried to explain it to him and he just changed the subject. He had no interest whatsoever. And they don't. They have zero interest in it whatsoever. They are not afraid of God. And uh, you don't, you're not supposed to be like afraid of him. 
but the Bible says you're supposed to fear him like you revere him you respect him you know um, I don't I just I just don't see the world leaning that way you know whatsoever we're kind of all alone in this so anyway I thought I'd come on here and clarify that um, what else is going on um, there's 7.1 I think it happened in the Philippines so there's some big stuff just non-stop it's just it's it's it seems to calm down and then it just explodes in 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 like birth pain and then it calms down and explodes and they're getting really really close together this baby is about to be delivered and you're that baby we're about to go and I don't know about you but I can't wait I'm so excited uh, they were talking about how beautiful heaven was going to be and Tyler's uh, uh, I think he said he said he was getting a cottage I think he said he was getting a cottage I was moderating in there so it was uh, trying to pay attention to that and listen to him at the same time but at any rate you I'm gonna go back and re-listen to it uh, now that it's uh, now that he's done with his interview what an amazing idea that Ken Potter had man that was such an awesome idea just to interview Watchmen that's so fantastic that he does that it's so enlightening what he does you just learn so much but anyway I just wanted to get on here real quick clarify uh, a little mistake I'd said and uh, give you some encouragement some encouragement this is about to happen just hang in there I talk to myself too when I say that I'm just like everybody else I'm just when Lord when 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 you know this couldn't happen somebody made a comment in there there's no problem I have that a, that a rapture wouldn't fix there's no bigger problem that I have that a rapture wouldn't fix and I was like that's that's profound that's true there is I have zero problems that a rapture couldn't fix so that's what we look for and that's what we wait for and that's what we hope for so that's what we do every day and uh, just keep watching go to a quiet place by yourself nobody needs to know and you don't need to tell anybody and uh, ask the Lord to come into your heart and watch the change begin and uh, come into the discord I'll leave a, a link again we've got I think it's 800 people in there now or more I, I, I have I've lost count it's it's so many people in there and then we have so many rooms with so just a wealth of information wackadoodle Samoan I almost forgot I want to tell you sir that uh, I back you 100% he has a Facebook um, a wackadoodle Samoan Facebook uh, you can go in there and join his Facebook uh, I think he's um, he got two strikes, and I believe he's, he's stepping back for a second because uh, he knows he'll wind up, and I don't blame him, honestly. It's almost impossible to stop, but he's going to wind up canceling the thing permanently, and I don't think he wants to. I think he wants to uh, be able to open it back up at some point, so he's he has put it on suspension for now, his, his YouTube. So, Matt, we're praying for you, buddy. Thank you for everything you've done. You've done a fantastic job, and we love you very much. And uh, I joined his Facebook. I'm in there. I don't know if you recognize it because I have a different name in Facebook. And uh, so, anyway, Repo Man 64, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we're gonna see you on the other side. I guess. I guess we're going to Brother Chooch's dinner table to eat, and then shortly after that, we're going to Tyler's house where he has. Oh, that's what it was. He has a, an image of a swimming pool that is like created and designed by God and he's and it actually almost brought him to tears uh, thinking about how beautiful it was and he had this dream some time ago but he, he uh, you know how beautiful uh, it was made in the swimming pool and everything else so we're going to Tyler's house after that for a uh, swimming party and uh, that's exciting something to look forward to anyway we'll all see you on the other side up in heaven I'm gonna be I think they were talking in there. Uh, I'm gonna be like 24 years old. No more, uh, no more getting old. I hate getting old. So we'll see you on the other side. Hang in there, bride. It's almost time to go home.